Fujitsu is a high-tech R&D innovator known for its IT hardware and services in a retrofitted former silicon chip manufacturing facility in the Japanese city of Aizu Wakamatsu, a small team of highly trained Fujitsu engineers are hard at work. They're developing one of the company's hottest new products, lettuce. Fujitsu produces 2,500 to 3,000 better than organic lettuces each day which sell for three times the price of a standard lettuce. The main purpose, however, is to showcase the smart vertical farming technologies. Fujitsu is just one of a number of companies bringing smart technology and expertise to agriculture. Vertical farming is growing all over the world, particularly in Asia. The world's population is expected to grow to 9.1 billion by 2050, and feeding all those people will mean a leap in food production. Farming is a challenge when we only have a limited amount of arable land on the planet. Since we have a limited amount of horizontal land, we can densify farming the same way we densify populations. By using vertical space more efficiently, we can increase our food production. We can also grow food underground, although that's a story for another time. Vertical farming is an agriculture cultural revolution and involves growing crops indoors rather than on farmland. Vertical farming is exactly that, crops stacked layer after layer using artificial lighting. Indoor agriculture isn't new, and there are three main types of vertical farmers to choose from. Hydroponics, in which plants are grown in nutrient-rich water. Aeroponics, where crop roots are not placed in soil, but intermittently sprayed in a mist containing water and nutrients. Aquaponics combines hydroponics with aquaculture, so aquatic animals such as snails, fish, crayfish, or prawns help cultivate bacteria used for plant nutrients in a symbiotic water environment. Likewise, there are varying vertical farming models, but the general principle is that you use a tall building. In cities, many abandoned high-rise factories or warehouses have been used for vertical farming startups. These buildings can create and utilize renewable energy resources such as solar power, wind turbines, and rainwater collection. Layering floors with trays stacked to the ceiling means more crops can be produced compared to the same area of land. Vertical farming literally creates more farmable land out of thin air. ICT controls temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, nutrients, airflow, and light. As plants don't need the entire light spectrum to grow, LED lighting which emits only blue and red light is used, resulting in vertical farms having a purple or pink disco feel. The purple light is more energy efficient than white light. The resulting products are clean, green, and require no washing. Lettuce stays fresh four times longer and is 80% lower in potassium. A restaurant and grocery store on the ground level of a vertical farm can bring new meaning to buy local. Food could go from farm to plate quicker, generating a much lower environmental footprint. Transport costs and carbon dioxide emissions involved with moving produce over long distances would be reduced and fuel costs would be slashed. Even if you're using a Tesla truck, there is still fuel costs. There would also be a reduction in product spend. Spoilage. Vertical farming doesn't stop at lettuce or in fact vegetables. With smart technology, you could grow virtually anything in a building. Imagine skyscrapers filled not only with floor upon floor of veggies, but also orchards filled with fruit. It's all possible. There are many advantages to farming this way. Perhaps one of the key benefits of vertical farming is water conservation. Vertically farmed lettuce uses around 5% of the water consumed by field grown lettuce farming. Vertical farming also grows plants faster, in greater quantities, is weatherproof, and can produce year-round crops. A vertical farm can, in theory, be built anywhere to make more efficient use of urban space. Rooftops are one of the most underutilized spaces in urban areas. It's common for produce to have been on ships and in trucks for two weeks before it hits your plate. Traditional farm produce is grown to withstand that long journey with its looks, but not necessarily its flavor or nutrients intact. Estimates suggest up to 45% of nutritional value is lost in transit. That's right, more miles means fewer nutrients and poorer taste. Vertically farmed products could be grown specifically for their taste rather than their durability. What's better than vertical farming in the next building? Vertical farming in your own home. Growing your own greens at home may be the next craze and startups are working on it. You may, in the future, be able to get a vertical farm the size of your household refrigerator. Vertical farming plus automation will lead to greater food security. Considering how many people go hungry in the world, that's a great thing. Hey everybody, John from Mammoth Animations here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course. In this course, you will learn how to make games without coding. 
This course is normally $30, but today it's free. Enroll today before it's too late. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the better animations we can produce. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. The more patrons we get, the more animations we can produce. We here at Mammoth Animations love making these animations, and if you want to support us on Patreon, we can make a whole bunch more. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another animation next week.